What's up, YouTube? I'm Shornado Jr., and welcome to my list of the top three things I want to see in Generation 6. October 12th, 2013, Pokemon X and Y re-released to the world, and I am excited to see a lot of new features in the game. However, there are three things I personally would love to see in this game. Some things have been included in past games, and some things are brand new. So, let's count down the top three things I wish to see in Generation 6. At number 3 on this list, I have chosen designing your own Pokeballs. With Pokemon now moving towards a real RPG feel instead of, you know, just Pokemon walking around with no customization, why don't we have the ability to make our own Pokeballs? It would be interesting to see, let's say after the game, after the Elite Four and everything, if the professor in the game was like, hey, we need a new Pokeball, why don't you design it? And you could get points or earn them through gyms, maybe, let's say. And you could create better effects with the Pokeball and design them better and share them over the internet. Because now we have the connectivity of the 3DS where you could send this out to millions of people. And you can get voted on, let's say. And the top Pokeball, let's say, for Generation 7 is a new Pokeball. I don't know. This idea sounds crazy in my head. But it could actually work and connect Pokemon fans together and make something new. You can look at any other game where they have competitions where the best prize is actually now included in the next upcoming game. You never know what could happen. So designing your own Pokeball with its added effects, as long as it's not overpowered as hell, could actually help out the Pokemon community and um, unite fans together in their goal of making something that can be included in the next Pokemon game. You never know. Number two on this list is Secret Bases Come Back. I was a huge fan of the secret bases introduced in Generation 3. I thought they were great and allowed Pokemon fans to create something of their own that was not controlled by Game Freak. Those were taken out after that game, which made me very sad. I, ver I was very interested in having those and building them up. With the RPG feel coming now to Pokemon for real, bring them back. Make a house. You never know what you can do. Same thing as the Pokeballs. You could design them. You could share them over the internet and just unite people together in a common goal of, okay, let's build up this house, let's earn things, let's buy stuff. You never know, Pokemon people, we like to design things, we are very interested in that. I could show you artists who just draw Pokemon, even new things that have come out for Generation 6. People love this stuff, they love having creativity and the option to do it. Pokemon fans are almost the best at that. We know what we want. And one of those things we want is a secret base to express that interest in art and design and have some fun with it. So, if it's not included, I'll understand, but that's something I really would like to see come back into the games. Number one on this list is multiple save files. Now, most games, you know, would have two save files, three, maybe five. Pokemon's always had one, which has always been confusing. They have the capability to do it, but they just choose not to. Why? Well, simply put, Game Freak likes their money. They wanted to buy more Pokemon games. However, Game Freak now, you are probably a multi-billion dollar company thanks to Pokemon. Why not just give us that capability to have two save files, three save files, four save files? We love your games. We're going to buy them anyway. You may as well just help out the fans. You have no idea how upsetting it is to delete a save file with 100 Pokemon caught, 8 badges, and 50 hours put in. It's just so upsetting. It ruins you. It just is like, oh man, do I really have to do this? I love my Pokemon game, but do I really want to start over with all this stuff? Thankfully now with emulators, you have save states and everything, but the actual feel of the cartridge and playing on the 3DS is just not matched anymore. You just, you don't get that same feel, just saving state or losing a battle. Oh, I just reload my state. No, it's no fun. Game Freak, we know that you guys love your money. I can understand that, of course. You're doing it because you're a business. But you've made your money. We're going to buy your stuff anyway. You've made a new game on a new system that many fans bought that system, the 3DS, just because it's Pokemon. Good for you guys. You are incredible. Just help out the fans. Include a new save spot. And that's my list of the top three things I want to see in Generation 6. If you have any comments or ideas for other lists you'd like to see, leave a comment and I will see you guys next time.